Love smarter, not harder. Today's question. Hi, Dr. Karen. In the country where I am living, there are swinger clubs where couples can change partners. Also, as I am single, I use Tinder, and I see a lot of people describing that they are into BDSM or couples looking for a third person to join them. I'm interested in what drives people to do this. Is it boredom or do they have psychological problems? I'm also lately wondering if people are naturally monogamous, especially men, or is monogamy created by society? I'm afraid that if we go deeper into men's imaginations, we will not find monogamy, even with ones who are faithful to their partners. I'm curious about your point of view. Thank you. So this is not something that I know a whole lot about. I don't, I'm sure there are psychologists doing research on this type of stuff, but it's not something that I've seen a lot of and I haven't really looked into that kind of research. So you just asked for my opinion, so I'll give it. I did come across one study recently that suggested that women will put up with friends with benefits, hoping that eventually that will be a, a legit partnership. And they'll also include or be open to threesomes. Again, hoping that if they do that, then they'll get the guy to commit to them, which I think is kind of a backwards way of hoping for or looking for commitment and trying to achieve commitment. I do know that most of us, according to Dr. Robert Sternberg's theory of triangular theory of love, most of us want that commitment piece. And for most of us, that means being faithful and not including randos <laughs> into the equation. But that's, that's most of us. Not all. I, I don't know that everyone who explores something like that has psychological problems. I wouldn't say that. Are they bored? Probably. Uh, I did talk with Dan about this because I thought getting the male perspective, especially because you asked specifically about men and monogamy. And he said, now granted, you guys might be like, well, he's your husband. He better say, <laughs> he better say what you wanted to say. Okay, fair. That's fair. But he said that, yes, he could see guys who may be settled or got married so young that they feel like they missed out on their time to be wild or whatever, that he could see them perhaps if they're really unhappy in their marriage then because they settled and they're bored, yes, that they might have ideas about uh, along these lines. But he said that he knows a lot of good guys, of course he would include himself, that when you are in a marriage that you're in which you're very happy, you don't like, no, you're focused on your marriage, you're building into your marriage, and then you have other things to do in this life. You've got career goals and you've got family. And so, yeah, it, it, I want to say, ultimately, I believe in monogamy. I I mean, is it created by society? Maybe, but I don't think that that means that it doesn't work for humans. I mean, a lot of what we do as humans is we rise above our base instincts and urges. That's called society and civilization. We move from our temper tantrums and our selfishness and our egocentrism that we have as two-year-olds and we are socialized to think of the other people in our communities and to think of the obligations that we've taken on in our roles as husband in this case or as partners, committed partners. And so, yeah, we, we, we can rise above maybe those, those instincts and those urges because we know that there's a greater good for our partner, for society, and for ourselves. So I hope that helps.